You can also check if something is not true. And if you remember from chapter three, where we covered bool statements, the way to do that is by using the exclamation mark. So in line one, we have a variable called damaged. And what we now want to say is if it's not damaged and the way to do that is you start by entering the exclamation mark and then you enter damaged. So if something is not damaged, we don't need to offer a discount. Otherwise, we should discount the item by 25% because obviously the item has been damaged and is not worth as much. So once again, you can see how clean the syntax is in Swift, which makes it quite short, compact, and most importantly, very readable and easy to understand.